student QR codes. One of the best ways to organize your course and make it more accessible, especially to younger students, is by adding buttons. First thing I'm going to do is add a page to house my buttons. Now you can do this in multiple places in Schoology, but for now I'm going to use add a page. On the top of the page I'm going to do demo page and I've got a space for my buttons down here. Now, the next thing to do is decide what our buttons are going to look like. We're going to need a picture. It can be a picture from anywhere. It can be a picture on the internet, a picture saved on your computer, but it's going to be what your students click to go somewhere. So, on my computer, I've got some buttons, so I'm going to do insert content, image media, and attach a file. I've got all these circle icons, and all of these icons are available in the Minix Schools resource folder under Schoology Course Creation. I'm going to choose the button I want. I'm just going to choose this for fun. And there we go. There's my button. Well, kind of. It's still just a picture. So the next thing to do is to make it clickable. So we're going to add a link to this button. So we have to decide where the button is going to go when students click it. It could be anywhere. It could be another place in Schoology, like a page that you've created in Schoology or a folder of resources. It could be an IXL activity, or it could be a video somewhere on the Internet. So I've picked out this page with a video about wearing a mask on PBS Learning, Medi PBS Learning Media for uh, pre-K through third graders. So I'm going to copy this URL. and go back to my button. All I have to do is highlight my button and I'm going to click the link tool, paste in my link, and click insert. Now when students click on this button it will go to this PBS Learning Media page. But I don't want them to have to open the page to see the button. I want it to show up on my main course page. So I'm going to select this tiny button here that says Display on New Page. And then push Create. Now my button shows up right there and I can click and drag it to the top. And anytime students click on this button, it will take them where the link went. 